Hello and welcome to Not So Awesome Review. And today we're looking at the Nendroid series number 790 Mercy Classics Edition from Overwatch. And yeah, so just like May, she actually does come with a very nice amount of accessories with different options. Though I, I may actually like the other one a little bit better. This one is pretty awesome though. She comes with three faces as you can see here. A smiling face, a other smiling face, but kind of like, you know, mouth open a little bit. A little bit more happy. Eyes a little bit different too. And you're looking off to the left face teeth gritted a little, little bit more more intense and uh, all of them look really good just you know bring them up a little bit closer you guys can see here you know the detailing on her face just like i've been saying you know good smile does a great job and this figure is no exception exception not exemption exception yeah yeah anyways she also comes with her gun right here which you can see has a hand uh, I actually put that on there, just so you know. The hands are separate. But yeah, she comes with a trigger hand for that for her left hand. Her staff, which you can hold with only the right hand. And again, that's another hand that you kind of put on. This top piece does come off in case you want to have it open. And you do have to kind of line up a little bit. There it is. I'm holding this upside down. You do have to line that up right there to put that on. And then you can even attach this nice effect piece right there. So you can have it all lit up. And that's pretty awesome looking in and of itself. I'm not going to lie. On top of that, she does come with her neck joints. And I haven't attached these yet. But her wing little effect pieces, which let's try and do right now. It's pretty simple. It's open on the side right here. So all you have to do is get it lined it up with the top one. And it's a little bit harder to do on camera. But I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. That's one. And then once again, just line it up in between all these pieces and push it in just a little bit. You don't even have to do that hard, and that's two. Uh, the only downside I will say right now is that she can't really stand on her own. Um, you have to kind of have her on her base because her feet are kind of dangling downwards. As you would if, you know, you were flying. I'm, I'm assuming that's how it would work. We also get a replacement front skirt piece, which you have to kind of work a little bit to get off. And then we can attach this one right here and have it open like that, which is pretty cool. Not going to lie. Articulation, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, we have a ball peg on the wings here so you can move them around back, forward, up, and down a little bit on both of them. Move them inward, outward, however you please. You can make her head look up, look down. The joint is pretty strong, but of course we also get the replacement joint in case it isn't. Her arm can go up about that much. Go down, rotate forward, rotate back. She does have an upper bicep swivel, a single jointed elbow that does about 90, so that's good, and a rotation at the wrists. And her legs, well, you can see they, they don't do much. You can get her to kick forward a little bit, but it does tend to pop off. It's more of a sideways motion, and I honestly don't recommend you really move them too much, or else they're just going to keep popping off. But you can move her knee inwards, and I just realized I'm raising this above the camera. I hope you, I, you guys can see that, but yeah. You move that inwards, and that's about it. So leg articulation, not that great. She does have this movement here at the upper torso. A little bit back and forward, but it's mostly meant for left and right than anything. And yeah, you can see that piece just fell off. So you have to be a little bit more careful with her than uh, some of the other ones, because she does have pieces to detach. But for the most part, it's a solid figure. Don't expect things to fall off just from sitting there or anything. Like I said, you do have to keep her on the stand, unfortunately. Otherwise, she won't uh, be able to display. And you can see it, it is a little top-heavy on the head, but not bad. Replacing the hands, as always, well, that whole piece just fell off. But as always, it's as simple as kind of just working the joints, having things pop off and fly off onto the floor, which uh, it happens. <laughs> but yeah, you kind of just pop that off. Pop on the other hand. I'm just going to pop this back on here. You can see she does hold it decent enough. Not falling over or anything. So that's a good sign. For the head. Grab on to the hair and this like part right here. Be a little bit careful. Uh, you kind of just got to wiggle it. I feel like hers is a little bit more tight than uh, May's was. And you know even Ariel's. But you just detach that. Attach that on there. And reattach the hair like so. And I forgot to mention that her ponytail does turn left and right. And it can actually pop off all the way. So 
don't be scared if that happens. You can see that she does come detached from the base pretty easy, I would say. And that's because you do have to force it in there pretty tight, so... Yeah, but... That, right there, is pretty awesome. No complaints on that end. Um, yeah, let's just get on to some size comparisons and wrap this up. So here's she is compared to May, and you can see, proportionally speaking, they do kind of fit in the same size. Unlike what I showed with Mario here, who is definitely not kind of in the same scale. I mean, in a way he is, if you think of him as small Mario, so maybe you can kind of consider that. And, you know, Ariel, who, again, her head is a little bit smaller, but the hair is kind of like the right size. And body proportion-wise, they, they're all kind of very. She's a lot smaller than her. She's bigger than her. She's bigger than her. So yeah, it varies, though. She is wearing a coat, so I would assume. So, but yeah, they do look good together. I'm not going to lie. And, you know, there is Tracer. I don't know if there's any other ones of the Nendroid series, but they, they do look good. And they do come with enough stuff to say, yeah, th these are pretty awesome. And here she is compared to an SH figure art Super Saiyan God Goku and a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. See here, she's a little bit over half of their size. And, uh, yeah. So overall, not a bad figure at all. I actually really do like her. Now, like I said, the only disappointing fact here is that she can't stand without, well, the stand because of the way her legs are. And her legs don't have the greatest range, but she does look really good. The detail on her is really awesome. The paintwork, the orange, the dark gray, the little prints on her arm and everything. They look really well done. The translucent wings here look amazing. You know, the options with the faces, I think, is great. You know, we anytime we get a figure with more than two faces, I'm happy. Two faces... It's good, you know, May came with two, but I do, you know, think three should be the minimum for these imports, more or less. You know, it depends on the accessories. And yeah, you know, the hands, everything about her, all these extra pieces definitely add up for me to say, yeah, I definitely recommend this one. Pick it up if you like the figure, if you like the character, you know, the detail on it is great. It looks great. I have really nothing but good things to say about it. Anyways, this video was brought to you guys by the AV Pop Shop. Check out their Instagram linked in the description down below. Hit the like button, comment for whatever reason. If you want to comment, you know, just it's there. It's possible. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all later. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.